in their separate remarks at front line civil rights activist Comrade Austin Osakwe and President General Network of Civil Society Organizations of Nigeria, Comrade Abraham of Yahweh, said the elevation of Reverend David Ugolo outside the shores of Nigeria is in recognition of his commitment and determination to fight the cause of the Dantrode. The civil rights activist stood Reverend Ugolo as an enigma who rose from a humble background to a pinnacle of activism globally, adding that as a grassroots mobilizer, Reverend Ugolo contributed immensely to good governance and capacity building through advocacy. Today we are here to honor a man. Some will refer to him as a spirit. Some others will call him a deity. Because before we began to talk of Reverend David Ugolo in a do state, for instance, he had engaged at the widest level international partners and workers in this constituency. He had engaged the federal government, he had engaged the European Union, he had engaged at least six embassies. Of course, we were so privileged to involve in practical struggles in terms of strategies, in terms of activities, in terms of materials to equip your intellect before going to ventilate. It's a privilege to have had cause to associate with him. And it's a privilege for us to have interactions with him. Each time people talk about it, I'm also privileged to say I am one of his sons who groomed under his intellectual sagacity. Also speaking, the media director, African Bar Association, Pastor Samuel Abbaslim, said Reverend Ugolo was carefully chosen to take the task for the association owing to his pedigree in fighting corruption globally and providing solutions to myriads of problems plaguing the nation. I'm surprised that they were really, really, you know, depth to have considered all of Africa and picked a Nigerian, and not only a Nigerian, a man whom also I as a person know. So it was a wonderful experience and I was highly elated when I was also presenting to the African Bar Association. Responding, Reverend David Ugolo said his appointment as the special advisor to African Bar Association on acting corruption came to him as a surprise and pledged his determination to carry out the task ahead of him with all sincerity. The African Bar Association is one important institution in the continent that has taken that as a big issue and as a priority issue they required some people who had expertise on the issue and I am happy that um, the president of our African Bar Association consider me worthy enough to be appointed into these positions to advise. African Network for Environment and Economic Justice, ANIJ, has partners in over three continents. Wellington Hakodeja reporting.